Creativity is an addiction. It's that one thing that we rely on so much. And the thing is, is that it's not just from ourselves. We rely on other people's creativity to make our lives better. And if things don't show up, what do we do? We scream like two-year-old kids. It's an addiction. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity, totally uncut, because we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. This is Stream Thinking, the power of now. Learning to trust freeform writing as well as freeform thinking. See, I believe that your best decisions are made in the right now. So you've got to learn how to own your own leadership. How do you do that? Well, you've got to exercise that muscle. Learning how to take one page. Give yourself just 10 minutes to write. But you can't go in there and you can't edit anything. You just write whatever's on your mind, whatever you're feeling, whatever you're in the moment with. And what happens is, is that it's going to give you plenty of time to talk about it in the end. This is the power of now, stream thinking. Today we're reading from July 30th, 2022. They say that a ticket has matched all the numbers in the Mega Millions lottery. Someone in the state of Illinois woke up a billionaire this morning. Now, the majority of the people that I spoke with yesterday bought a ticket hoping to get a piece of the pie. They didn't want it all. It was just too much too fast. And as a majority, they all agreed that it would change them in the worst of ways. Now, what I got from the vibration of so many was how incredible it felt to just dream. Yeah, that's it. Just dream to put yourself in a position of, well, what if united in single thought yet still divided? What were we experiencing before Mega Millions shot up so high? Now, the positive is, is that we dreamed the lessons learned. You don't need a lottery to ignite a willingness to just dream. Do you realize that, okay, that was written on July 30th, 2022, and today's date happens to be September 19th, 2022, so, so basically almost two months have gone by, and that ticket still hasn't come forward. Whoever owns that ticket has either thrown it away, or they're trying to get their life in order, getting in touch with lawyers, trying to figure out what they're going to do with the money planning for it, not spending it, because it will. It will change you in the worst of ways. But the one thing that I experienced being right there on the front lines during this whole entire situation with the mega millions going well over a billion dollars is that we did stand united. A lot of dreamers, a lot of people just talking, having conversations. It had nothing to do with politics. We weren't talking about COVID. We were just dreaming. Remember when we used to sit around the house and just do that, boy, what if, and then you start working on that dream? You know, some people will tell you that the American dream is gone, but is it really? The housing market's kind of screwed up. We're in inflation right now. There's a war in Ukraine, but have we really stopped dreaming? The last part is the lesson learned. You don't need a lottery to ignite a willingness to dream. All you need to do is create the conversation. And I believe that conversation starts with yourself. Just dream. Not the type of dreams that you have in the middle of the night or if you take a nap in the afternoon. Just dream. The what if factor. What if. Fill in the blank. Create a dream. Now reach for it. I'm Arrow, and that's Stream Thinking.